Today's video is brought to you by grooming. <laughs> Ball grooming, ladies and gentlemen. Manscaped.com, I'm not the only fan. Nine million people have joined the ultimate men's lifestyle brand, and today I'm gonna to talk about one of the most important things they have. Ladies and gentlemen, the Performance Package 5.0. So to go over real quick, they've got some real solid bangers, some real upgrades in their lineup. The Lawn Mower 5.0 electric trimmer, ladies and gentlemen, sports a new next generation dual skin safe blade head, and it's accompanied with upgraded trimmer blades and an interchangeable foil blade. So again, you start off with the regular trimmer blade, which again features longer, wider, rounded teeth that cut through general hair. Then you get the foil blade, which absolutely gives you a legendary finish that anybody is gonna be impressed by when they look down there. You've also got the Weed Whacker 2.0, which is waterproof, cordless, rechargeable. And of course, you've got the Crop Soother and Crop Preserver, which is perfectly crafted to keep you feeling cool and comfortable day to night. It's got such ingredients in the crop soother like colloidal oats, shea butter, and cocoa seed butter, pampering your delicate areas and giving you the essential moisture you need. And of course, the Performance Package 5.0 comes with those two free gifts. So again, join 9 million men worldwide who've put their confidence in Manscaped for all things men's hygiene, grooming, and needs. Ladies and gentlemen, head on over to manscaped.com, get your hands on the Performance Package 5.0 today and use our promo code SOG and you'll get 20% off plus free international shipping and two free gifts. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with the video. Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and yet again I have amalgamated some more things from the old dark web that I feel like I, I, I want to show you, because ladies and gentlemen, I used to do this stuff every week, but sometimes, you know, when you cover things on a regimented basis, you end up finding the same hitman crazy websites, and you know, honestly, I'm glad that we let the, uh, the, the deep web almost ferment, brew a little bit, because ladies and gentlemen, what I'm about to show you today is some really weird wild stuff and not all of it's spooky scary some of it's just meant to be funny so ladies and gentlemen let's sit back relax and get a nice cup of the old coffee wake up in the morning and see what the old internet's darkest corners have for us to explore all right here we go we start off with the shadow wiki homesick for a place i'm not even sure exists you probably can't read that but it's in like type 0.5 ant font but here it is, the Shadow Wiki. The wiki focuses on nano na anonymity. <laughs> okay. Privacy plus security plus anonymity. Okay, so that's um interesting math equation. Spyware, surveillance, censorship, interoperability, and decentralization. So of course we skip number two and go right to three, which is religion. And then of course, not just what is mainstream, but also what is obscure and esoteric where things are made, how renewable they are, and their quality. And then this is the orange pill. Okay, so they give a mental health disclaimer. Shadow Wiki touches upon sensitive topics that may not be appropriate for some people who have certain traits. If you're a paranoiac and or have tendencies, your conclusions when reading Shadow Wiki's contents may cause you more harm. Okay, so again, if you choose to read Shadow Wiki, try not to withdraw from society, go out, touch grass, drink water, do stretches. Okay, this this has got to be some real heavy shit, okay, for me to like walk in and, and wonder what's going on. So let's open up the uh, orange pill. They've got donation addresses. And uh, yeah, that's all it comes down to. So let's actually see what the hell they got for browsers, darknet, email, hosting, IM, mobile comms, software. And again, let's open up the index. So if we look at the orange pill, this is it. We shall be victorious. That looks more like a, I forget which pill that is, but it looks more like some Tylenol or, or whatever the hell it is. But yeah, that's the orange pill. I don't actually see the orange. I just see like a yellow red pill and that's all it comes down to. But let's look at what they got for browsers, okay? Let's see this. Man, they really do not like YouTube on this. Like, look at that shit, dude. It's like, YouTube, verify your age to view this sticker. YouTube is known for restricting and censoring access to videos. Firefox versus Chrome. Two sides of the same HTML5 coin. Firefox is controlled opposition funded by Google. Boy, that's a fucking wild claim. They got the uh, Coomer, the frame worker meme. 
don't use JavaScript frameworks, and then of course Cloudflare judging your traffic. Okay, let's actually see what the hell is going on. So install LibreWolf for ungoogled Chromium if you need a big browser and just wanna watch YouTube and Netflix. Install web browser or pale meme. If you want something in the middle, install Lynx, Netsurf, Crystal for minimalists. Nah, bullshit. You want a minimalist browser? I'll show you guys a minimalist browser real quick. If you go to, I think it's sudo pacman s Lynx, you can actually browse the internet entirely through command line, ladies and gentlemen. So if you do like, like if you open up Lynx, for instance, this is like, this is web browsing without the whole image side of things. So for instance, if I go to like go, I can enter Google as a URL. <laughs> And there it is. You can actually browse Google through a goddamn text interface. So, you know, if you wanted to search for Mudahar, you absolutely could do that right from here. And there it is. Boom. That's what it comes down to. So, yeah, this is a, this is like, if you really want to go minimal, just browse through like the, the, the terminal shell for crying out loud. So here they said the WWW is fraught with all sorts of spooky stuff betwixt JavaScript, DRM, managing your rights to make sure you don't have too many, and HTML5. It makes for some pretty complicated shit. First off, what should you look for in a browser? You should seek minimalism to where the browser you use has a few features beyond what you use. If you use Facebook and YouTube, then you probably need something really big. Not really. I actually think Facebook can run on pretty much the most bare bones. Facebook and Google can run on pretty bare bones browsers. Like if you still whip out Netscape Navigator, I'm pretty sure you can still access google.com and do some general searches. You want to stay away from that stuff. You can use Pipe Viewer for YouTube. You don't even have a Facebook uh, and you try to avoid JavaScript blah, 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 blah. If that's the case, it's more a question of how much of that you need. Do you need full CSS support? Do you need JavaScript? You know, I, I kind of am in that point where like, if you want to... If you want to be like hidden from the rest of the world, uh, it's not about using the most secretive browsers because then you stand out. If you want to re really be hidden, you have to use the most common tools in a lot of ways, just so you hide in the crowd versus, you know, I use Linux and I use like these super privacy focused browsers. Well, now if you connect to a fucking website, you're probably the only person out of a hundred that's connecting with super private methodology and the most obscure operating systems, you stand out versus somebody that's just using Windows 11, Google Chrome, they look like the average Andy. All they need is like a VPN or something to obscure their general IP location, but that's kind of the idea. So, so you get you get a uh, security privacy by uh, by blending in rather right, but again here it is one particularly large source of on aforementioned bloat is Cloudflare, aka Crimeflare, dude. They call it Crimeflare. The man in the middle that protects 19.1 percent of all websites. Cloudflare often blocks users using Tor or with lesser use to no user agent. This makes Cloudflare at all a single point of failure, both in terms of availability and privacy. It is strongly suggested you contact your provider for DDoS protection and simply set up a capable firewall with timeouts. I do agree. I think sites like Cloudflare, like services like Cloudflare, a lot of these organi organizations just have like way too much control over the internet. So here they list the table of browser with a spyware rating. Bad Wolf is not spyware. Okay, that's good. Brave is high. Damn it. I use Brave. Dissenter is high. <laughs> Wait, what? I've never heard of what the hell Dissenter is. I gotta see Dissenter, dude. <laughs> what? what is this? What is this name? What are these? Dude, there's, there's so many browsers I've never heard of. Let me whip that out there. Dissenter browser. That's not a real thing, is it? So then you've got uh, Falcon, which is probably not spyware. Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, extremely high. <laughs> Dude, Opera is extremely high. <laughs> Slimjet, SRware, oh my God. That's crazy. That's crazy, dude. Everything I use is extreme. At least Brave is like just high. It's not extremely high. Edge, not rated, known to be bad. Jesus, man. Again, I don't co-sign anything this person says. I don't. I, I haven't done this myself, but Jesus Christ. Then, of course, they've got multiple chapters to discuss the shadow internet. They've got their depictions of, like, different types of darknet services. So we've looked at Freenet. We've, we're using Tor right now. We've covered ITP, but, like, there's also other organizations like Mysterium, NIM, Threefold. And actually, if you're watching this video, it might be worth that instead of some days doing the deep web, 
we might as well dig into like some of these new networks that we've never really seen before. That's uh, interesting. Then of course, I've got email services. So again, oh my God, do not use certain, don't use Gmail, cattle surveillance. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What is a good email? Let me see the good email. Good as Darwin 1210. <laughs> I've never heard of Darwin 1210. Okay, yeah, of course it's good. Nobody ever heard of it. Was self-hosting? You decide. Oh, that's such a cop-out Excel stress. <laughs> Go ahead, get out of here. Sn Snoppy, Snoppita, good, Snick. Okay, this, this is written by like a 12-year-old. This has to be. Table of VPS providers. All right, virtual private services. Instant navigators. Oh, dude. Spyware rating for Discord is high. Extremely high. <laughs> Everything, everything's like rated well, like unrated except Discord. That's just, don't use Discord, okay? Keybase, centralized, do not use. What is jammy? You're probably okay. Dude, nothing here is good. Everything, the best rating we have is, eh, probably okay. Eh, it's probably good. <laughs> this is so crazy. What do they write about Discord? I have to see Discord. What do they write about it? For the love of God, do not use this platform. Uh, besides being spyware, Discord has implemented a black box system to flag accounts. Having now follow a dubious at best laundry list, not be coerced into giving them your phone number. You may not believe my personal account, but I was banned for three accounts for using a custom client, Ripcord. Isn't that against like their TOS or something? To use like alternative clients? I mean, Jesus Christ. Discord has facilitated the descent into madness in which the person is a slave of himself, impulsed by emotionality. Almost losing a capacity of insight. Jesus Christ. Mobile communications. What do we got for mobile? Dog, I'm not whipping out the old, the old, uh, the, 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 I'm not whipping out the ham radio to communicate. Get out of here. Uh, and then of course you've got software. So again, they mentioned which software you should be using, what you shouldn't be. And again, this is like a very privacy focused blog, but like, my God, valid. I mean, who honestly knows? It's written by a brand new, it's written by somebody uh, I don't know their biases or whatnot, but yeah, this is kind of one of the things you expect out of the deep web is like people make these websites that are like trying to like expose the truth or like, you know, or whatnot, or like bring up these, like they, they make a lot of blogs on privacy and whatnot, but generally when it comes to this, it's like, it, it almost comes across like straight up schizo posting. Like again, if you're going to say something is spyware or like something is designed to be controlled opposition, I really think there needs to be a lot more proof that you present, but then again, it's kind of also wholesome in a way to witness a website that would have been like present in the 1990s. But anyways, let's go to something else. Ah, sweet Lois, a schizo thread. <laughs> Fuck the carriage. And then of course you've got like some images up top. I don't even know if I have to blur this out because I think there's some like, I don't know, man. I, some of the anime stuff is like hard. Like I'm looking very close to it and like some of it's like, I think gay, but I don't know if like it's gay, like, I don't know how gay enough it is. Like, can I show it? Like, it, some of it's just kissing, but like, I don't know if some of it's like shirtless. Anyway, I'm just going to blur it, okay? I don't even want to risk that shit. So let's see what the hell we've got over here. We've got the worst possible use of HTML here. Um, duh, the carriage, duh, the carriage. Is that all the twins? Oh, no, not twins. Oh, dude. Oh, man. Oh, dude. I just want to play Monopoly. I just want to play Monopoly. Uh, I feel like I'm in an asylum full of dementia-ridden old people that can do nothing but repeat the same Cinderella complex light theory on loop like a broken record. The carriage will turn back into a pumpkin lol. This is not about Cinderella, dog. Come on now. All right, here it is. So even if I explain it to you, you won't understand. Okay, let's understand it. Watched an anime. Okay, so let me try to explain myself. Have you ever watched an anime called Uran High School Host Club? No, I have not. I'll just say that much right there. Let me actually see what the hell Uran High School Ghost Club is. It's got 8.2 out of 10 on IMDb. Clearly, it must be good. All right, it's back in 2006? Dude, this guy got gypped that hard back then? So in it, there's this guy named Karu Hitachin, right? Younger brother of Hikaru Hitachin. They're in incest love, I think. <laughs> Dog, that's either you know or, or you think. <laughs> You either know it's incest or you don't. <laughs> Pretty obvious. Anyways, Kaoru is literally in the top 1%. Like the whole meme of the show is that all the characters except the main ones are rich. So it's like, haha, dumb rich people don't know how to buy toilet paper because they never had to go to the supermarket. Quirky, funny. 
So, okay, this 15-year-old billionaire has depression. And to illustrate his worries and anxieties, he compares his life to Cinderella. Okay, that's stupid, but it's funny and it was executed good, so it's whatever. No, my issue is not the fact the allegory exists at all. It's that, no, listen to me. Listen to me, I'm grabbing you by the shoulder. Come closer, boy. You're too far away. It never resolved. <laughs> This guy ended on a cliffhanger and it ruined his life. Do you know how annoying it is? Let's give this character a whole depression arc about his deep fears and never resolve it. Let's lead the audience to believe there's credibility to his fears of losing all his friends and never say it otherwise. Okay, okay, he says it constantly like the carriage will never have to turn back someday. And nobody bats an eye, not even his brother. They're just like, oh, funny Kaoru with his funny cognitive dissonance. <laughs> oh, He's so mad. He's so mad over an anime plotline, bro. He's so mad. I have invested way too much into this emotionally. Clearly you have. I like this character, okay? And I admit this was set up pretty cool, but then it never goes anywhere. We're left wondering just like, what? Of course, I invent Cinderella night. Me and my friends watch Cinderella movies every Thursday night. Mm. At first, it was me trying to make sense of the oil allegory. Maybe I was missing something, but I've watched all three Cinderella movies, English and Japanese, multiple times, and we are going to watch every live action film in existence. I, I feel like I have to watch this uh, this this anime now, because like you got to understand, your anime must have the worst story arc. If somebody has made an entire page about this, I have never seen any video game story or like any media storyline. Like, dude, when Mass Effect dropped and they had that indoctrination theory with the third game, I still don't remember somebody making a schizo site about it, too. So this is a little bit, I mean, I don't want to say a little bit insane, but it's very insane. Click me, no virus, very cool. It's not that deep. All right, let's actually see this. So there's people writing, like, letters to him. And it's actually interesting because this is, like, still active. Like, like somebody wrote a letter, like, six hours ago. Eh, let me write something. Mudahar. Bro, it, 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 it ain't that deep. And then let's just send that over there. There we go. Uh, I wonder if like, I wonder, if, I wonder if like, uh, yeah, it actually saves. Sweet. Okay. So this guy knows that it ain't that deep. I dare you to click the pumpkin. Sure. Let's click the pumpkin. What? <laughs> I need to cast Matt's spells right now or else I turn back into a pumpkin. Doesn't let me turn back into a pumpkin. <laughs> Bro, this man got ruined. Like, honestly, he really did get ruined about this. Can you guys just all live in my shoes for one moment? Okay. I mean it like sincerely. This has been going on for years at this point, but nobody cares. They love to throw accursed gourds at my face. The other day, I went over to my friend's place. Yes, I have friends to watch Star Wars. Gay! And guess what? They had bought a pumpkin bathroom towel just for me. Now, I know I say a lot of dumb shit on here, but I do know I'm aware. And yeah, maybe it's funny, okay? But Cinderella movie night is still going, and I'm still trapped in my cage. Dog, you are... This is insanity. This is like, this is like the definition of insanity. Like, I feel like I'm insane watching this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a Nintendo 3DS version of this? Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? Uron is such a... It's, it's the wildest anime in the world. It's, it's Like, I have never seen somebody so ass mad. So ass mad that they go out and make an entire website, literally an entire schizo post of this situation. It's, it's actually insane to witness. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to back out. We're going to go head out somewhere else. Oh, hell yeah. Maybe I don't have that texture text pack installed on my system. So it appeared to be that I've gotten a bunch of uh, interesting points of letters thrown at me. Okay, I got some simoleons from, uh, from, from Sims. But let's go see it. Reincarnation. Can it happen? Click here to read the story of Bart and Max. Okay, let's, let's read. Are you who you say you are? Oh. Is anybody looking for you? Oh, that's like a deep web art project, dog. Stop it. Protein Baby was a caffeine energy drink produced by Protein Monster Incorporated and marketed towards pregnant women as a safe alternative to caffeinated beverages. 
Production was halted by the FDA in April 2015, just six months after its release, when thousands of mothers who had consumed the product gave birth to infants with severe birth defects, including malformation of the limbs, bilateral renal agnesis, and various chromosomal anomalies. The subsequent lawsuits virtually bankrupted Protein Monster, which paid over $60 billion in settlement fees. Senator Bernie Sanders referred to the scandals as one of the most horrific acts of corporate greed and criminal negligence in American history. I, I gotta see, what, what the fuck is pro... Oh. I feel like we're walking into a... We're walking into... We're walking into some fictional land here. Uh, have a seat on the couch. Okay, let's drag this fellow right here. What are you thinking about? I don't know. Oh! Monkeys. Okay. Well, let's click on the monkey. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a, let's, let's a tab, see what else is around here. No, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just a goddamn monkey. It's just a monkey vibing. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Crazy stuff. Protein monster. Can we go into it? No. Oh, don't watch this. Ha oh my God. Okay. We've got, we've got some shoes. Don't watch this match, very big mistake. I watch live, that is unbelievable. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, we got scorpions, cool. I seen one of them in Phoenix one time. Those are scary as shit, bro. Oh, hey. Oh my God. What? What's going on here? What? I don't know, I'm scared. I'm scared it's gonna jump out of here, protein monster. What is the protein monster? Okay, we've got bats. It's just another Saturday night. Hey man, I mean, this is your reality. I'm just living in it, dude. Is that a... I think that's Protein Monster. All right, continue. Whoa. It's just another Saturday night. Yeah, let's go to night. Okay, here it is. We're just playing some ping pong. Let's click on Protein. Protein Monster. It's just, like, what's so insane is that it just doesn't fucking end. Look at this. It just doesn't end. Like, goddamn. It just doesn't goddamn want to end. All right, let's go back here. Let's, let's go. I usually checkpoint these. Welcome to, oh. Okay, let's click on the Morse code there. Oh, no. Okay, we got to censor some stuff, man. I got some furry porn showing up. Uh-oh. Uh oh, spaghettios! Yeah, this is a uh, this is kind of creepy. I hate I hate these locations. I hate these like liminal ass places. You know? Oh, there's actually people sitting down there. I was like, there's no way this place is super duper empty. What place is this? About the author? Oh, here it is. Somebody that we can actually like understand. Snow is not my real name. I use Snow for my homepage, not because it's my IRC handle, but because a dear friend once told me that when life seems too tough to handle. I should look at the world at that time of the day and when it's all peaceful and calm and the sun is about to rise at a distant location. So this page is dedicated to him and the people close to me to help me through the rough times and smile with me through the good ones. You know who you are. My real name is Jocelyn Cabrello uh, and I was born in the year of the rabbit under the astrological sign of Virgo and possess a personality trait of an int J. Yeah, we're going to we're going to back away from this, man. We're going to go back to the original page here real quick. So, let's go look through more of this. We've got Canadian Can Canada Canadian Mounted Police. Oh, wow. This is exactly what God has been doing to this wicked man who won't stop plotting and deceiving and trying to manipulate and intimidate. It's actually hard not to laugh because God is answering my specific prayers. I pray against him, but at the same time, the attacks have been relentless. I am fight Oh my god, dude. I, I'm honestly wondering if this person, is this person even alive anymore? Is this person alive? Oh, wait, they got a rolling stone. No, this is like fake information. Like, this is like fake pages. Because it's all from this person's, like, own domain. Oh, man. This is like the craziest art project that I've ever actually seen. Because the thing is, like, usually the other ones, like, they, they tend to have an ending. This one just doesn't end. Like, here you got, like, okay, you got Lightning McQueen here. Protein monster. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think that's enough of the protein monster. I think at the end of the day, I, I'm I'm I think I'm in an alternate dimension. This is what happens when you have this is what happens when you're unchecked, okay? Get yourself tested. Do something. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the protein monster. We're gonna back out of this and go somewhere 
slightly normal, okay? Because because at this moment we're shifting into high energy physics, and I know that I am not capable to discuss the inference of quarkonia production in ultra liminal H H H H interactions. It's not happening. So let's go somewhere else. Ooh, the May Vane Day Studios. Let's go. All right, here it is. So uh, another uh, another another page of somebody who's who's bringing us to their side of the dark web. So they got poetry, they've got fiction. All right, let's see this living wasteland. Let's go check this out. What's going on in the living wasteland here? Let's open that page up. They're writing books. So here it is. 20, oh, wait. They want me to download something? Ooh. Nah, it's cool, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes images are... Uh, I'm not doing anything that could be breaking a lot. Uh, 2023 OA30. So Volter decided to destroy my server without warning. Whoa, this is recent. There's been some drama here. Vulture decided to destroy my, uh, destroy my server without warning. Most services I was able to pull back online on a different VPS provider without too much hassle, but it did unfortunately lose a few private keys to hidden services due to a corrupted backup. N net Thanks, Vulture, you piece of shit! Maybe email me next time you want to support tickets about my CPU usage. Some of us like to compile programs from source. This guy's a Gen 2 user, you could tell. <laughs> A big list of women who did things. All right, let's see this, the list of women. And then you've got identity contract, my GPG key, let's decentralize, dead end shride online. What is Yggdrasil? Let me open this up too. All right, so identity. I have full administration of the following domains. Alternative to the standard internet stack. So usually when you're on like the dark web, you'll always find people like we saw Shadow Wiki, right? Like where it's always just, how do you disconnect? How do you, how do you like, how do you disconnect from the industry norm into something that's like, um, like a lot of it is just decentralizing from the system norm into something that's like freer, right? Like the deep web is not connected to like, I like that's all like centralizing means you're connecting to like your ISPs. You're, you're having all these like big corporations handle your DDoS protections, everything of that nature. So these guys want to just be able to connect to an internet stack that they control and it's not controlled by governments the big corporations, so on and so forth. Anyways, didn't even need to explain that. So they mentioned other uh, internet stacks like routing networks. So Tor, which is what we're using. Then you've got I2P, which we've done on the deep web. We've looked at EAP sites. You've got LokiNet, which uses the Loki Oxen blockchain for routing. Actually, something that I just found out about, Yggdrasil is an early stage implementation of a fully end-to-end -end encrypted IPv6 network. Uh, Yggdrasil, uh, I believe it's Nordic. I think it's like Nor it's like Viking lore, right? Vikings would be the Nordic people, right? Like, um, I think so. Anyway, not important. Reticulum is the cryptography-based networking stack for building local and wide area networks with readily available hardware. Okay, and then you've got ZeroNet. You've got IPFS. You've got Freenet. We've actually looked at Freenet, I think, once on a Deep Web Browsing episode. Hyperdrive, and then you've got Gopher, Gemini. The Fediverse is an ensemble of federated servers that are used for web publishing. Cool. And you've got XMPP, you've got Git, and then uh, WebRings are an algorithm-free way of discovering new websites. Webmasters of similar interests will voluntarily agree to share mutual links with the other sites in a WebRing. Okay, so it's like a web of trust type situation. And you've got the old net sidebar and hotline web ring, okay? So these are like different ways to connect on the internet, all right? And this is the old net web ring. So you've got speed maggots, UCA net, pyro, pyro! Oh, she had pyros here? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And then they got their own browser, the frame set browser. Yo, this is a vintage page, okay? This is a real vintage goddamn page. Like they're, they're mentioning like AOL instant messenger here, dog. This is old school. We might actually say, listen, we're going to save this and visit this some other time on Dankware Browsing. So I'm going to save this link somewhere and just put it into the big batch. We'll cover this down the road. We're, we're, ent we're entering a whole new network. So the other thing is Dead End Shrine Online. So what is this? Let's open up one. See what the hell is going. The few 99.9% .9 completion guide. This is a cult. A cult. Wait! Oh! Oh, I got responded to. Oh, shit. 
Oh, I got responded to. Hey, Leth here. Sorry to break the spooky ambiance, but it's kind of my attention. There's a genre of YouTube videos where men go on the site, only read this one page, and then opine in a condescending manner about people on tour. I wrote this post in mid-2021 when I was in a much worse place mentally. You'd know this if you bothered to read literally any of the other entries as well. Please stop emailing me to tell me my sense of spirituality is harmful. It's not true. Okay, to be fair in my defense, I didn't find any other page here. I'm just finally getting hit. So for anybody that wants to know, I looked at this page actually a long time ago and it almost read like a, like a, like a suicide letter. Come find me, come find me, loose line, all this shit. And uh, I did not know about Dead End Trine because there's no link to another page over here. So to understand, all right, I'm sorry that I assumed things, but that's the only page I had. Now I have like 14 others. So there is actually, uh, so it seems like that whole situation doesn't exist. This is like a, um, this is like a, this, this is, this appears to be just like, I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth. Hold on. I don't want to be accused of that. Let's go to one here. Uh, this is, um, this is their sense of spirituality and it's being harmful. So this is like their sense of spirituality. It's not a coping method, me method. It's nothing else. I don't understand how it was condescending. Jeez, now I'm actually fucking mad a little bit. This is putting words in my mouth. When was I condescending? Miss me with that shit. I was not condescending. But yeah, okay, cool. It's uh this is this is the dead end shrine online. And they've got 14 entries that if you want to read through, it seems like a sort of diary thing. Absolutely read through it, call it a day. Now you actually have the page. It's the dead end shrine dot online. That's where it led to. So uh interesting. Then of course you've got mods over here too. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I do want to apologize if I made like, if I made some rash assumption, but that's the only page I had and nothing else. So that's where I, that, that's, that's literally what I went to. Like somebody took their page, put it on like the dark web and called it a day. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like it was a fucking suicide letter or anything. So here you got the fire emblem warriors completion guide. <laughs> so it's so weird. It's like you have this really spooky story and then you've got mods for Super Smash Brothers where you can just put like custom characters and it's all on the same page. Like that that's the wildest stuff about like going across the dark web is like literally wi visiting web pages where like, like, come on now, like flag waver. Dude, how is it that I have a, 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 a wild 14 page set of stories to read through that keep me on edge? The flag waver. All right. And then, and then, of course, like, hey, do you want mods for Super Smash Brothers on the 3DS? It, it's insane. Like, there's just no way, like, my brain can logically process what I'm witnessing. But yeah, apologies to this person. I guess I assumed a, a really dark tale when I shouldn't have. But in my defense, I only saw that one, one post. And I think anybody who sees that one post is going to get into a land of assumptions. But... That's the thing about assumptions. It makes an ass out of you and me. Mm. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to back out and um, go somewhere else. All right. The sitcom layers. All right. Let's go down in here. Enter. So you got, oh, another another art project, it seems, huh? Uh, well, let's look at the letters. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Catch a tiger by the toe. I'm going to hit life because that seems really cool. And, of course, the page. Oh. Ah. It seems like this is this is the ramblings of a lunatic. We've got a, we've got what appears to be some scramblings. That's the only thing I recognize. This like um, it almost looks like I'm looking at a like a cell. This is the futuristic city. I see Arma. I know that game very well. And then you've got this pyramid, the top of the pyramid. Interesting. And then, of course, the sitcom theory, which is what we're here, okay? Sitcom theory begins with the perception that sitcoms are written around the writer's current frame of reality. But that's not even like a that's not even like a theory. It's like, of course, anybody that's writing a show or anything is probably gonna base it on some personal story. So I, I don't understand what the point of this is. This infers that the writers are being neurally neurally altered by stimuli outside of their control. That means that a given sitcom can define reality to its writer, and you can write your own reality in the format of a sitcom. That can be amplified and proven by the consumption of mind-altering chemicals such as LSD, acid, Zaza. What is Zaza? And Lululemon, dude. I'm dude. I'm too old, bro. Like, I'm I'm a fucking I'm a boomer at this point, dude. What are the, what are the 
here's the, don't do drugs drugs are bad lsd acid zaza lululemon don't do that okay Just don't do mushrooms dmt any of the mind opener can openers like what is going on here so i guess the idea here is like if you're writing a sitcom about your life you can alter your frame of mind insanity so here it is my nut list related bank thrush to do bet twenty dollars <laughs> <laughs> oranges grapefruit yeah this is this is written by a crackhead so what what is this list 160,000 russian katalia 140 dollars russian hill shot salvation army technique it just doesn't end u.s patent 650 6148 cycle physiological effects have been observed in a human subject in response to stimulation of the skin with weak electromagnetic fields that are pulsed with certain frequencies near half a hertz or 2.4 hertz such as to excite a sensory resonance and that's like the tv that's uh, that's what it comes down to for the claim of proof on earth is the rights and ownership of the kingdom of heaven from the beginning and eternity all proclaim Zilu Kirk and Anastasia Kassanasis as the sovereign and ultimate king and queen and rightful divine rulers of the king or of heaven on earth and God the father and the God the mother of the sovereign and ultimate rulers of the kingdom of heaven. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I, I think my brain needs a little bit of a wipe. And uh, I'm going to, I have, whew. I'm going to need something stronger than some coffee in the morning. I think I'm going to need to go to the old Jack Daniels right now. And well, ladies and gentlemen, that marks the end of this episode of Deep Web Browsing. Dark Web, weird things on the deep web. I don't even know how I title these things anymore. Uh, we've uh, witnessed a lot of interesting posts about a person that has been absolutely gypped by the plot of an anime. We've uh, had to make an apology video to one person's story who I misrepresented. And in my defense, I only had one piece out of 14, so... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep saying that, but ladies and gentlemen, we've also come across a bunch of deep web art projects, one of them in specific that's still leaving my brain kind of fucked up. And then, of course, you've also got uh, wikis that you can read on the dark web that show you how to anonymize yourself on the internet, what software to use, and what to be extremely sussed about. Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. I am out.